And we're live. Welcome to SR vs. TTM Esports event. I am AJ Mars, your commentator today. This is a two race feature. In the booth today, I got a special guest. SSR Radar is going to be on the comms with me today. So everybody, welcome Radar to the um, booth. Uh, it's going to be, like I said, two race. We're going to do Spa and then Monaco. Uh, you're going to find SSR boys in predominantly yellow SSR colors. The TTM guys are going to be in predominantly red colors. We are doing a short 25% race. No formation lap and the safe is on as this is the quarterfinals so should be a nice little race here it's already a little drama pre-race people's aren't happy with the way things are going but rules are rules and we follow them so we'll let the people in charge handle that We've got some cars rolling out of the pits here we got boss cookie payox kings monkey jdm haters division and rawlings on the roster for today's race Radar, what do you think? TTM's pretty quick. You think we got a fair chance today? I think that as long as we can keep it clean tight, I think we have a we always have a good shot. We have some pretty quick quick guys up there, Cookie Rawlings. I normally our two quickest guys around this track at least, so if we have we have pace in there, I think we'll be able to get it done. Alright, alright, you heard it from Radar, he's confident today. So we got Spa is the first feature, followed immediately by Monaco. Rawlings. All right. First one out. He's gonna be. Hello, hello. We got some people in the chats already. Hello, guys. Let's get Rawlings pulled up here. He is leading the pack out. Yellow and pink. Blue stripe there. Welcome to the stream, guys. Like I said, this is an esport event. BFR has put on an esports championship event. Multiple esports teams. We are into the quarterfinals here. And you're going to see SSR versus TTM. Lots of cars out on the track. Formula, thanks for the host, Radar. Also hosting the channel. That's what's up. Thanks, guys. Wrong, just coming around Getting the last sector now. Out there. So, starting slap. Here we are. We are following him as we go. Rawlings is rapido. We all know that. Boss Cookie's pretty quick himself too, so. Yep, Rawlings some pretty being good followed by Boss. Rollin coming down the Kimmel now. Looking good so far. Nice. This section here is all about rhythm. Nice tidy lap so far. He's, hasn't made a mistake yet. Yeah. GG in the chat saying, I'm happy I got F1 2020 a few days ago. Been training hard maybe to get in a league one day. Well, we hope to see you, man. Put that head down and drive on. Season 2 is coming up for SSR pretty soon. Got our last couple of races here for the next couple of weekends. Short break, and then we're going to come back with some exciting new formats for Season 2. It's going to be great. Don't miss it. And we have one of the TTM guys has left. Bye bye. You said we oh, have putting together yellow flag in sector two. Looks like just JDM being out of the way. Yeah, it looks like JDM just moving out of the way for traffic. There we go. Rawlings is going to get his lap. Be the first time of the session. One forty-one five. That's a solid lap. That is a solid lap indeed. Boss Cookie's dipping into the pits and valid. We got Payox Kings in the splattered livery coming in right behind him. Gets the power down nice and clean out of the Sector 3 chicane. He's doing a 42-8, 42-8. It's going to be P2 for right now. We have some T team guys like across the line next. JD's invalid. Looks like Monkey is behind. 
and uh, City stay with the 142-1 as well for DTM. There we go. Division coming around into Sector 3. Looks like he's going to be our next across. Everybody out on the soft tires here. Interesting that no one decided to try and maybe do a medium run. Like he's going to fold into the pits. Pretty interesting. It's only... Only a 25 percenter. Division in with a 43-1. Sure, he can do faster than that. Yeah. All right. Rawlings, the time to beat 41.5. Little ways behind him is TTM with a 41.9 and a 42.1. Josh in there for the 42.2, closing out the top two, three, and four spots. Payux Kings with a 42.8 and Division with a 43.1. Boss Cookie is, is not on his hot lap, or not his out lap. Just came out of pit for a run. Yeah, it looks like he was invalid his last go around. Trying to get the feel for the track. Last minute sub here as one of our normal drivers couldn't make it. It's like uh, the TTM the pits, monkeys in the pits. Got that toe down the camel straight. All stars to be the next across the line here, and he's just into the third sector now. DW steals away the fastest lap, 41.3. Just a little bit faster than Rawlings there, not much, though. So. I think Rawlings has a few tenths in there. Oh, I'd have to agree with you, Radar. I think Rawlings can do faster. Good first lap for him, getting the feel for the car. A little rubber down on the track. I think he'll be all right. As all started on P3 with a 142.0. Rawlings, the lone SSR guy at the top. P2 right now. Boss Cookie fixing to get him a lap here. Invalid on his first hit. Looking to get another set here. He should put up a fairly quick time as well. Yeah, should, he should be up there with at least strong, if not a little bit quicker. Should be interesting. Only three viewers right now, guys. You know somebody that's missing out on this. Hit them up. Tag them in it. Get them in here to view the stream. It's going to be a great race. Great two races, hopefully. Four finals. Yep, it's quarterfinals. Getting into that knockout section. We're going to start getting eliminated. A little lock up there from Boss. Not hard to do in that section. The downhills. Oh, and he's invalidated. Out there. Yep. It's not got a clean lap in yet. He's got nine minutes to go. Plenty of time to get back in and turn it around. JD's on a lap right now. Started, yep. Looks like King's going to give him a tow up the hill. Going to be a good tow, too. They're pretty close to each other, so. Yep. Watch the boys work together. Payox on an outlap is going to dip out right here. Give JD the line. Great tow. Great teamwork wow. by both guys. Great tow there. All the way down the next Fantastic coordination. Go get him, JD. That can boost his laptop up a little bit. And JD, we're doing a little F2 2020 last night. Just give him a run for his money. He was quoted as saying maybe F2 was AJ's calling. <laughs> Uh, Boss Cookie is going for another run here. Here's he has enough fuel to go for one more. Stampa oh, has left. Interesting. Looks like JDM's on a, on a pretty good lap here. He's put in a good middle sector time. Jetta, thanks for the follow. We appreciate you supporting the stream. Jamie in the chat says, destroy them. That's the plan, Jamie. That's the plan. Little love-hate love, love -hate relationship between TTM and GRA. Little 
little trash talking went on during their head-to-heads. Looks like JD gets a P4, 42.0. Yep. Splitting up the, the group of TTM guys there. Toe, toe down of uh, Camel Straight really helped there. there. Absolutely. It's great coordination and teamwork by both guys. I wonder if Payox is going get, to get some return there, maybe from... That doesn't look like it. Looks like he's a little far back. Yep. His sponsor key gets another invalidation on another lap. JD's going to give Division a nice toe down the straight, though. Division paying it forward, or JD rather paying it forward. Division gets a little squirrely there. He kind of, kind of lost some third gear, that's what it looked like. Yes, Jamie, both races are tonight. So. Yep, back to Beth, JMO, Spa, then Monaco. TTM guy spins it oh, in front of Division. Big, big spin there. I wonder if that's going to hinder Division at all in his lap. Don't look like it, but I think Payox is behind him, getting around him. The decent section two time from Division. Yeah, it looks like he had a bobble at the top of the hill, but he looks like he's putting together a pretty good lap here. It looks like TTM guy has either crashed or caused an issue here. Uh, yeah, right with JD. Was... Yeah. Looks like he was stopped on the track right in front of JD. JD had to hit the brakes there. All right, Division's going to try to improve here. He had a 43-1. He gets a 42-5. That's going to bump him up one spot. Aox in right behind him is going to take it right back. 42-3. Not really sure what happened here with JD and the TTM boys. Looks like the one guy spun. And then JD came up on him and he was stopped on the track. So, doesn't look like there's any contact of any kind that I could see. So, uh, fourth round for us, Jamie. Fourth round overall for us is the quarterfinals. Here's Monkey and Boss going to go out for another lap here with about six minutes left in the session. Might be able to get Rawlings on the lap as well. Rawlings it's looking to still back that pole position. Like it was a slower lap there by Rawlings. Yep, does look like a slower lap. He is not going to improve. Who's this guy across here? Looks like Probably. Monkey is on an outlap. Monkey's on an outlap. DW, DW sinks his time a little further. 41.2. Small improvement, but that is still the time to beat. Here's that Rawlings made a mistake, I think, somewhere in Sector sector 2, because the first sector time was okay on that lap. It was just the second. Talks about. Alright, here goes second. Monkey. Cookie right behind him on an outlap as well. More. He's got a little bit of traffic ahead. Yeah, one of them is on a outlap. The other one is like on a cool down. They just gave each other a tail up the camel straight. You might be right, Jamie. You might be right. It's a good question. <laughs> I don't make the decisions here. I just do what I'm told. It's following orders. Stinner. Yep, Stinner in the chat saying, up oh, the SSR. That's right. Yep. Well, SSR Spinner there. Welcome to the stream. Look, he's putting a pretty good lap together here. Yeah, looks, looks solid so far. Three and a half minutes to go in the quality session. 
false cookie monkey yet to get a time here. Dynamic finally back in the lobby after lagging out early on. Looks like the monkey's gonna survive the bus stop. It's gonna be a decent lap then. 42-4 puts him. Nine for monkey. 42-4. False cookie is invalid again. Invalid again. Not gonna get another lap, I don't think. Uh, really gonna have to rush back. But, uh, I think he's gonna t going to. He's in the third section now. He can get back to the pits in 15 seconds and 20 seconds, and hopefully get get out on time. Looks like we have JDM on an outlap now. On an outlap sector two now. Looks like Boss is going to get him another one here. He's setting up for a good run down the street. Yep, he's going for another. Good call on that one, Adrian. Him, cookie. Looks like there might be a little bit of a toe here. Good communication again by the team. With both guys working together, they got a little traffic ahead at the top of the hill. We got two guys probably giving him a toe, maybe. Harry there, good work boys. Purple sector one for Boss Cookie with a massive toe up the hill by Rawlings and Payox. Great work guys. Good to see it. Huge toe down the Kimmel Street. Big lockup coming down the hill. Kinda hard not to there. He's carrying a lot of momentum down. Bone Apple said I'm very quiet. It's the beard, it muffles all the audio. <laughs> <laughs> also almost went flat through the fast left hand there. That was that was ballsy. Yeah, he's really really putting down a fast one here. Purple sector two. A low That's purple 13. sector one and two. Wow. Let's go, boss. Take that top spot away. He might be into the one one forties here with this lap. It's looking really good. One forty one two. He's one forty one two seven eight. It's only gonna be good enough for P two, but that's gonna be good. Him and Rawlings will be tag team in there. Three hundreds of a stick together. Down. Rawlings is on it. Rawlings is on an outlap. He is going to have enough time now. He's crossed the line to start his lap, so it will let him finish. Boss going to give him a big toe down the Kimmel as well. Dynamic steals away the fast lap. 41.162. Wow. That's a quick one here, boys. JDM's coming across the line to finish the lap. Monkey's gonna sit at P11, Division P12. JDM jumps up JDM to seventh. JDM jumps all the way up to seventh. Good lap there by JD. Bone Apple saying the beard is majestic. Yes, it is, my friend. <laughs> my new employment venture does not require me to shave it like my last one did, so it's only gonna get better. Stinner has contributed 6,000 total sandwiches to the sandwich challenge. Guys, we got some sandwiches. Spend them. I'm trying to get to that 50K. Oh, Rawlings losing it there in sector three. That's out. He yeah. broke the wheel off. Not yeah, good. Just, really pushing the. Takes it on a, on a fly. Really yeah, he's really pushing the car there through sector two, and it was just too much. Lost the rear end a little bit, and that was it. Drug it down the sidewall. Like Boss Cookie gave a pack to toe down the back straight. 41.9, put some P9. That's going to be it, boys. That's going to be it for Quali. A couple of guys still out there. Brenda on a lap. And... Wow. Dynamic on a lap. That dynamic just retires on the circuit. I need to continue that lap. Yep. 
That looks like that's going to be it for boys. All right, Dynamic and DW, one, two in the front row. Then you got Boss Cookie and Brenda Rawlings, SDZ, Josh 29, Alistar. You got JD, Payox, Monkey and Division, the Dutch boys there bringing up the rear. You'll see those two work together really well in the backside here to try to push up through that grid. Gonna be this race, right I think, up. is going to be a side here going down Camelot Street, pretty much on the first lap, and just trying to whoever can take the lead there is going to going to have a good advantage for the rest of the, rest of the race. I agree. Division and Rawlings both out for terminal damage and quality. Tough break for both of those guys. All right, all right, all right. Looks like we got sunshine for the race. Sunny race. It's going to be a minute here while everybody sorts out the strategies. Appreciate it, Bone. Uh, orientation's Wednesday, and then, fortunately, we're working Saturdays for the foreseeable future, so I'm miss. This will probably be my last Saturday race for the rest of this season, so going to miss you guys. I'll do my best to try to reserve it some T3 races. We'd love to have you in T3, AJ. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely try to be there. I'm doing my best. We'll have to see. Got to get back in the work in front. Blessed to find a job. I know a lot of people out there right now that are struggling. Heart goes out to them. We'll get through this. All right, timer's up. Check marks are popping up. Radar's going to take us out for the start. So we have the pipe of lights are on. Lights out, and it looks like good start from the TTM boys up front with Boss Cookie right behind and Rawlings right behind. Boss Cookie it looks like Boss Cookie's up into P2 and Rawlings up into P4 headed down towards the camel. Great start by both teams. Line of cars there, a few yellow spots in between a sea of red. So we should expect to see some uh, ERS thumbs early. Yeah, everybody's going to be jockeying for position here. Here comes Boss on the outside and uh Boss Boss you down on the Kimmel. What a gutsy move there, he makes it work. Big pass by Boss Cookie, forcing it in there. Great move there by Boss. Great it's move. Falling Boss to Cookie out. E five. E one. It looks like Boston Rawlings are the only ones in the the top top eight at the moment. Oh, Rawlings, Rawlings, well wide coming down the hill. Yep, he's going to slide There's back. There's a lot of positions P8. there. Tough break there. As Boss, Boss Cookie, the lone S. He's making a gap too over a second. He is flying so far in this opening lap. Let's take a look back here at our boys in the back. Everybody's got to get together. They have some good teamwork on the, at the back end of this race. Everybody is bunched up in the back. Ooh, oh, no, no. Looks like JD slides into the back of Payox there coming into the bus stop. I don't think he was expecting the traffic ahead. Wrong, it's all over the back everybody, of All Star. Everybody looks to be okay. I don't see any damage from either of them, so on board with Rawlings as we climb the hill here. And dump that ERS down the back straight. Back in the slipstream here, he's gonna have to make a move. Who's gonna break later? Oh, oh. no room Cats left. Turned no in room on. left oh. Rawlings gets hit and then Payox slams into him with nowhere to go. It's not looking good today, boys. On board with Rawlings, no room at all was left there. We would definitely be clipping that from 
second stream, probably. JDM's now leader of the backpack here. Rawlings and Payox both taking some damage. Payox heavily damaged, missing a right end plate. Rawlings has no damage. He's good. Rawlings escapes that with no damage, just, just some time lost. See Payox there, heavy front end damage to the right front. He is definitely going to have to pit here. Nothing he could do there. Comes around the corner. Rawlings has turned around, ghosted, but only for a second. Makes heavy contact with him, losing the end plate. It's an unfortunate turn of events. Monkey gets a three second time penalty there for exceeding trap limits. Boss Cookie still leading the pack for right now. Lap three, which means DRS has engaged, so he's going to have to do his best to fight them off here. They're going to be attacking from the back here. Yeah, they're using the, the ERS and mixing everything down down the street here trying to get him. All right, we're gonna take a look over the back wing of Boss Cookie. You can see Dynamic charging up as he's got that battery juice. The wings are open. Nothing Boss Cookie can do here. Just sticks it in there. Great defense. Doesn't give him much room. Dynamic able to get it done after the lockup. Ooh, oh, Boss, boss loses boss it. Boss it. loses it. The dirty air strikes again. Falls all the way down. <clears throat> P8, P9. at the moment. Right in the middle of the pack here. He's yeah. going to drop in behind Monkey so to not make contact. Looks like the dirty air got the front end. Turned him around. Yeah. Not looking good for the boys of SSR today. JD leading the pack. He's got the whole team in tow. If you were, if you were yeah, an engineer well right back. now, would you be having, having, having Boss Cookie Pit for medium tires already or even them out as long as you can. Three laps in. The mediums will go all the way. Get the undercut because they're all going to have to pit ahead. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. You got Payox already on the mediums. Rawlings is closing up quick to, to Monkey. Closing two seconds on the last stop. JDM is whittling away a little bit of time here. As All Star goes into the pits for a set of medium tires. It's going to be. Much getting up to sixth place. Stender in the chat saying that could have been a corner cut. He's not sure, though. Quite possibly the case. He kind of shot through there. It was. He, he did get a penalty for it, but he was definitely off track when he made the move. into the 11 laps here at Spa. JD trying to make something of it. Trying to reel in the front pack there. Four, four seconds off now as they come down the hill. It's going to be uh, gonna take some teamwork on, on the, at the back end of this race to, to get close, at least get some good points here for Monaco. Tough one indeed. JD still leading the pack here. We're following him. Division right behind him. Boss Cookie half second behind him. Monkey of Rawlings there. Alistar has pitted for the mediums back to P11. Payox Kings who got into that little incident with Rawlings. Oh, and then he loses it again. Has retired from the session. Terminal damage. As we see. Lost it coming... The, uh, the chicane, the cam driver coming in for the pits. Big wreck, big wreck by Payox. Looks like he clipped the rumble there, lost the rear end, and it just put him nose first into the wall. That's going to be a safety car. Big, big wreck there. Might help out a few of the SSR guys here with, with, uh, with getting a, essentially a free pit stop out of it. That's correct. It's only a virtual, though. Everybody's jumping in and getting pit stops anyways. 
all the SSR boys piling out in behind. This looks like LSR is going slow intentionally to try and slow this, I guess, big of a gap to guys ahead as they can. Well, he is under virtual, it might be Deltas, but it probably is the case. We are back racing now, DRS has been re-engaged. Bosco immediately goes from move down the inside. Gets it done as well. As Division Monkey and JDM are right on his tail as well. Yeah, but he's got a line of SSR cars behind him looking to get at him. Boss is six seconds behind the next TTM car, so he has some work to do. Has to get the head down and push. SSR boys need to work together here, stay in the DRS range, tow each other around. We are down one car after Payox loses it big. Terminal damage there coming out of the Kimmel. Lost Cookie after getting fresh tires is charging now. Will we see Anson Tarboy go, go for move here? You can see Alistar, Alistar is doing his best move. to get by Boss Cookie here, but Boss Cookie defending well. Vision loses the rear end just a tad. Able to hang on to it. Boss is doing a great job at defending down on the straights here. Alright, front two guys have pitted. Everybody has made their stops now. It's Alistair able to get back past Boss Cookie. <laughs> Boss looked like that was intentional trying to get the DRS here and go for take, maybe trying to slingshot so. forward. Ooh, that was close. Boss Cookie is confident in that corner. That's a wow. third overtake he's made there. Very confident what the car can do there. Well, it looks like Monkey might have lost it. Yep, yep, Monkey has turned around there. It does not look like there's wing damage, so he is. He'll continue. After the pit stops, Boss is only 1.6 oh, down. Oh, and Boss catches it. the inside curb and spins it around. Pushing a little too hard. Division is now the lead car for SSR. Division fighting the dirty air here. You see him in behind Alistar. Nice best to get past. Looks like he's to be able to make a move. Bus stop. JD taking advantage is caught up as well. You could throw a blanket over those three cars. They all all within five times of each other. Gonna see a big move down the Kimmel here by these two guys. Gear set activated. Engaged. Right, are we gonna go three way? We are. They're gonna, they're gonna split him going down the Kimmel. Oh, he's sandwiched in between them. He shunts division, division. off. Yep. Lost an end plate there. Forcing it in there. Division gets the brunt of it. Pushed wow. off to the right. No space left there. None at all. JD is now the lead car. Trying to get past Alistar. Very, very dodgy going three wide through that section. Yeah, it looked like the SSR boys had it done, and then it's like Alistar, Alistar just stuck it in there. Almost outbroke himself and used uh, Division, Division as a price. Like a move might be shaped up again at the bus stop for JDM. 
We'll see. Alistair has been a little shovey. JD with the late break. Slides it on in too. there, getting it done. Throwing the elbows out. And we have Division right behind again. A Rollins right behind him, sorry. Going into T1. JD climbs the hill now. We're going to dip back to Rawlings. It might be going three wide again. Looks like JDM does a good job of blocking him down the straight and putting his car right in the middle of the track. Rawlings uses the other side to get around. Alistair's out. And Alistair's gone. Terminal damage loses it in the same spot the division got safety shunned car. off. Full safety car. It's bosses and for That's soft tires. Full Full safety car. That's gonna link everybody back up. You do pit for the stops here for some steps and back and losing positions. That's what gets to start. So for. we're gonna see eight laps of the eleven lap to go. Uh, we're gonna see everybody probably dip in for some softs here. I'm sure one of these TTM boys are gonna stay out. We're only gonna sit in here on. Uh, as looked like Monkey get the uh drive through the penalty for speeding. We might only see one, one lap of green flag racing here. Yeah, I think that's going to be the case, Radar. I mean, we're, we're looking at the cars very spread out here. <coughs> I'm Somebody. doubtful of a, uh, of a finishing a safety car only because there's three laps left, but we got guys spread out. Like DW is going to stay out on the mediums. DZ is staying out. Brenda is staying out. They're all staying Josh out. Is staying That's dynamic. Out. Dynamic. Is the dynamic. That. Clearly, their faster guy is going to go to the softs. Its boss Cookie is on the softs. As SSR boys are going to come in for the softs, is what it looks like. Rolling Shady on Division. Monkey. It's like everybody's coming in. This be good for Boss Cookie. Get him a chance to get caught back up here. Rollins is being held for a few cars, maybe? Rocket in the chat. What's up, Rocket? Welcome to the stream. While we are under safety car, I'm going to follow JD around. I'm going to go top my beverage off. Radar, you have the comms. I have the comms. So we're under safety car here with three laps to go. Probably going to be fishing with one lap. One, one lap of green flag racing is what it's going to look like as as Star Wars is trying to catch up to the safety car queue. So we have Dynamic who's on the softs who looks like he's going to be going for the fastest lap and all the Star Wars are on the soft tires. It's so a good 6, 7, 10 advantage on those tires. And we're back. Wonder if they're gonna be able to catch up on this lap or the next one for the fastest lap for the laps to go. JDM is coming in now to the, to the queue. Yeah, we see JD JD pulling up now. Uh, take a moment during the safety car to thank our sponsors, Sun Deli Subs. If you're in Jacksonville Beach, Florida, swing on by and see our own SSR sandwiches. Get one of the best subs you'll ever put in your face. Sun Deli Subs. Race control saying safety car in this lap. Safety car in this lap. Kind of screws over Boss Cookie's other back, although he will be able to get clean laps in for at least a fastest lap attempt. But I wonder if, if the soft tire is going to have a huge advantage over EM02 laps to go. As DW now becomes defective safety car, the safety car comes back in the pits. Looks like he's gonna, gonna go out of the bus stop. Nope. We have a green flag once again. And we're racing. Two laps to go here. Everybody's caught back up. 
ball kicked a little bit far back, but he'll get a, get a clean lap at a fastest lap. So. The Star Wars are on the soft tires. Let's see if they can make something happen with it as dynamic and stuff to hurt already on his soft tires. Boys are going to have to push here. They don't have a lot of time. These soft tires should have a massive advantage over the mediums. Especially some older mediums. JDM trying to stay up with Jay, let's put JDM and Rawlings are battling a little bit. Need to put JDM and Josh battling. JDM gets spun around there. Yep, JD looks like he got turned around for sure. Somebody else is around as well. Looks like Rawlings. Rawlings as well. He was right behind him. Maybe another instant report coming into the sewers. Looks like Boss is on a, got a purple sector too. We are on the last lap of this race now. As uh, they let Dynamic go for a fast lap attempt. Which he has currently. Give that to Boss now. Boss Cookie takes it right away, 43 and a half. Smug gets to come to pitch for the drive through that he had on the safety car. It's like division is just too far back on, on Josh. He's making a good push, just not going to have enough time here. Another three or four laps, they might have had him on the, on the soft tires, but that's like. 1 through 5 for DTM and 6 through 10 for SSR. Vision's pushing really hard here trying to get caught up to Josh. He's taking 3 tenths out of him, 4 tenths. Mediums. Soft tires are just probably getting up to their operating temperature on this lap, so they should be, should be all gripped in. We are on board with the vision now as he's trying to chase down that P5 spot of Josh. Just don't think he's going to have enough time here. One more lap and he might have him, but yeah. brought the gap down eight times. Maybe too little, too late. <clears throat> Boss Cookie gets out of the time penalty. Now, was Dynamic going to get the fastest lap here, or is Cookie going to keep it? Here they come around the corner. 42-7. <clears throat> Dynamic's going to steal it away. 42-7. Comes down to... Boss now. See if he can do anything. It was a little faster. Not it's much. not going to take it back. Nope. There you have it, boys. Tough. Tough first go. A lot of pushing and shoving in that one. Sure, we're gonna be seeing some incident reports up on the steward's desk, All right? Yep, I believe there will be some indeed. <clears throat> Division driver of the day, great run by Division. Our Dutch warrior there. But we're gonna take a, take a short break here before we for Monaco. Yeah, I believe we are. Zampa was the host, and it looks like he dropped out right before the race started or right after the race started, so we're waiting on confirmation. Stand by for that. In the meantime, we will take a look at the race director, get some information out of here. That way we got it for record reasons. Not a whole lot. Unserved drive through to Monkey gives him a 20 second, but kind of a mute point at that session of the race. Two DNS, Alistar and Payox Kings, both terminal damage. 
about the same spot too. One a little before the other. All right, stay tuned. Next race, Monaco. You saw how spicy it was here at Spa. Put him in a put him in the Monaco bull ring there. It's going to be quite interesting. We're, we're expecting to see some pushing and shoving along the way. Zappa has left session one once again. Yep, Zampa's struggling. Zamp's probably going to reset the lobby up, so we might see invites here in just a second. I'm waiting for confirmation. Yep, Jim, we're, we're gonna let the stewards decide what's, what's going on there. Yep, yep, it is on the stewards' desk. I'm sure clips will be put in. Looks like Rawlings is now the host. Yeah, probably gonna be setting up a different lobby because he left, so. No, oh, Sampa said he's just been signed out. Okay. Nice. Good start. Good old Xbox is acting up today. I know the parties were giving us a little fuss earlier, and then uh, Sampa looks to be having the old Xbox logout issue as well. It's like a few of them I'm dropped. Stand by here for a minute. Yeah, looks like a couple of people. It's all right. Stand by with us here for just a moment. Get all this sorted out. In the meantime, check out our snazzy new graphics. Sampa's been working super hard on them behind the scenes. Got some new standings. Sampa's doing a great job getting everything lined out for the stream and adding some spicy new things. These are going to be our new driver standings. Snazzy new SSR background. While we got a moment, if you follow the SSR tiers, tier two has a clinched winner in that division. The engineer for today, 10 whole dollars. Ten whole dollars has clinched his spot as the winner of tier two for season one. He's our first, technically our first winner. So big shout out to ten big ups. Put on a pretty commanding win there. As you see, ten whole dollars, tier two champion. He's been added to the wall of champions, and I'm sure there'll be a couple little media blasts towards the end of the season, bringing that back up. Commanding lead, 373 to 218 over Stinner. Meister when they're behind him, 149. Ultra Titan also 149 in the Reno. It's been a spicy little, spicy little spot. Tier 2 has become quite the competitive tier. A lot of action there. Jamie says, why is Knox above me? I have more points. It's a good question. Ask Sampa. <laughs> Bone says, because he's taller. That's also true. <laughs> Knox is a mountain of a man. There you can see our schedule. Don't miss out on any of the races. They're all streamed right here on the Twitch. <laughs> All right, looks like Zampa's back in the session. That's yes, returned. One, two, three. Looking at the looks tier like three somebody. standings, it looks like Wiffy could clinch tier three this this weekend as well. So I'm not just looks like there's been a roster change here for the TTM boys. We have a Shifty and a Sam now in the lobby. A few other guys have dipped out. Looks like they're bringing in the ringers for Monaco. Interesting strategy choice here, by them. Maybe yeah, get, maybe Dynamic has left. It looks like a few others have left. Maybe getting some sure. guys maybe. in that are that have been practicing Monaco for the past 30, 45 minutes instead of racing out. Okay, we're 
We're hearing over from uh, the championship coordination that there is going to be a new lobby. Waiting on the invites for that, so we should be shifting over to the new lobby for that here shortly. So appreciate y'all sticking with us. So you think Wiffy's gonna Wiffy's getting close to clinching in T3, huh? Well, we have what three, four races left? Four races left. I believe we have Abu Dhabi this weekend, then Mexico, Brazil, and USA. Brazil and USA, yeah. So we got a couple more races here. He needs, uh, he needs to finish in the points this weekend, and he is our tier three champion. It's eleven points to clutch. Like that, I think is waiting for tier three to come back around. But uh, sitting at top, I almost ninety-seven points, I think, to Hammer Joe, and then myself right behind Hammer Joe. So he clinch this weekend. Don't miss out. Abu Dhabi this weekend. It's going to be AJ's last race for a little bit. Head back to the workforce. So I think I might miss the rest of the season. I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get in on the USA race. Uh, we, swatched, we swapped Abu Dhabi and USA so we could finish on USA for our uh, late friend, Bubbly. Rest in peace, good man. It was a... Uh, Good friend of ours who passed just before season one started. He's deeply missed. So USA is going to be a little emotional for everybody, as you can imagine. But uh, season one has been dedicated to him, and it's been a it's been a good one, man. It's become more than we ever expected. And uh, season two is going to be just as exciting. Some format changes, uh, a couple of new features. I know in the off season here, between season one and two, we're going to plan some some fun cups and some craziness so stay tuned to the discord if you haven't been on the discord once you go back to the live video screen there's a button in the bottom right there that has all of our social media if you click on that it'll take you to the website where you can get involved in our discord looks like everybody's filing out here so we will be getting an invite shortly I would presume Probably any time now we should be getting the invite, but Yeah, I believe they're setting it up this go yep. around, so There it is. There we go. Let's go. Not holding my my breath for any cleaner racing at, at Monaco though. This time around. Usually a little bit more RG yeah, Barge then. Monaco's a lot a lot tighter confines. It's a whole lot of cars to put in a little bit of space, so it should be dodgy. But like I said, damage is full on, and the safety car is on as well. So the walls will be unforgiving at Monaco. As always. All right. Let's see how many guys they got now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we're all good there. Payox, Division, Boss, Cookie, Rawlings, Haters, Monkey. Looks like all the boys are here as well. So Cookie is, is saying that Dynamic spun him on, on, the, on the lap. That he uh, got into the gravel there. Interesting. So we are going to... Uh, Tensions are, are high for, for this one, that's for sure. heated conversation going back and forth in the championship chat there. Very heated. Things are a little heat. Things are a little heated. This is going to be quite a uh, quite a race here at Monaco. Tensions are high, tight track. Yep. 
we're gonna see some uh some dnfs i believe some frustration bits for sure probably from both sides let's hope not let's hope not but there is a high likelihood that it could happen Waiting on anybody for uh, start the new race? I think everybody's here. Just waiting on the go ahead. Two, three, four, five. They've got five in spectate, so. That's what we're waiting for again. Okay. Yeah, looks like they've got one too many yet again. So we'll see. I believe TTM Tez is running the team for TTM, so so now we've got, let's see, Shifty has suited up, one, two, three, four, five, Bang. six, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, looks like everybody's readied up and in their cars, should be getting to racing here momentarily. Oh, it's dynamic weather, Bone Apple, there is a chance. Halo in the chat now said, have I missed it? You missed race one. Spa. It's very dicey. It's a lot of elbowing and shoving. A couple of DNFs. He's coming around for, for Monaco now. Yep. Boy, wouldn't it be dicey with a rainy Monaco. <laughs> Don't stay this cursed for us, AJ. No, no. Need a young priest and an old priest. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, welcome to the stream, Halo. Better late than never. Like lobby is just, just now getting, getting put up. We're just now getting ready to go. Looks like a couple of the SSR boys have ticked the box. They're ready to go. There's our schedule, guys. F1 tiers Saturday and Sunday. F2 is on Thursday. Stay tuned for Season 2. Our full distance championship is getting a revamp. Details yet to come. So stay tuned for that announcement. will likely be during the off season between Season 1 and 2. We're going to be making some burst announcements. Um, something that's changing for season two for SSR is we're doing a driver draft. It's going to be a lottery. We're probably going to do it live on the stream. We're going to pull names at random. You're going to get random teammates and random constructors spicing it up a little bit for season two. Drivers are going to be based into tiers based on pace. So we're going to see a lot closer racing in season two, a lot of spiciness. And then you're going to have, uh, like I said, a, a driver's seat draw. See who goes where and who ends up with what constructor. It's going to be interesting. Build some new teamwork relationships, new friendships. Some new rivalries as, as well. Gears. Yeah. Always going to be. I think tier three is going to be incredibly spicy. Season two, there's going to be a lot of guys mixing it up there all around the same pace. I'm excited to see that one. Tier one, mid, the all right, guys. battle is going to be intense. I know probably guys that are really close to times. Roll beautiful footage. We are back live. All right, loading into Monaco. Guys, like I was saying earlier, if you're interested in joining or if you want to catch the action or be involved in season two, there in the bottom right corner of the live feed, you see the SSR logo with all our social medias. That is actually a button. Link. If you click that, it'll take you to the website where all the information about getting in our Discord and signing up for Season 2 is there. So if you haven't done that already, click on that. Go take a look. We have the standings, the rules, all the stuff you need to know, as well as the Discord link. That is the only way to join the Discord is through the website. So get in the Discord, say hi in the paddock. That's our general chat self known we'll get you pointed in the right direction for whatever you're interested in whether it's the f1 tiers or the f2 tiers we even have some aceto we're doing not quite set up league wise but we do run some aceto events so don't be shy click that button get involved say hi when's the session now looks 
like a beautiful day at Monaco. Sun's out. Crowds are packing the stands. It's going to be a good one here. Tell you what, Radar, I'd love to have a yacht seat for this race. <laughs> that would be, that'd be something amazing. Sunbathing on the bow of the boat. Cold beverage. Race cars flying by. It sounds like a dream come true. I don't know. Maybe we can all pitch that. in. We could all pitch in and maybe rent one. Go watch a race. SSR social. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Guaranteed somebody would show up in a Speedo. <laughs> <laughs> we have some cars heading out now. These guys look like they're going out first. Got a few SSR boys coming out as well. Should be interesting. Not a lot of space on this track. Not at all. Looks like JD's the first one out for our guys. It's going to be very, it's gonna be very hard to find space on this track. Or clean call it lap. Almost with the SSR boys here and staying in, going out when the track is empty. Yeah, I think they're going to have to probably work in shifts here, make sure everybody gets good times, good laps, good space. Really, no, no, there's no use for this hotel on this track either, so shouldn't be seeing any major toes down the streets. The only place you could really grab one is maybe down through the tunnel, maybe down the front straight. Front straight would probably be the only real place. The hard brakes at the yeah. end of the tunnel, the toes really irrelevant. See JD come out into the sunlight on the far side of the tunnel. A little bit of a lockup. Gets to it pretty clean, though. As you can see, the track very tight. Speeds are incredible in these small confines. The rask as he goes now. All right, on board with JD while he puts down the first lap for SSR. Like we have some SSR guys coming out of pits now, on laps as well, or on out laps. JD putting together a flyer here, cutting the corner very tight. He's got traffic ahead of him though. I don't know if he's going to be able to catch them though before they lap. He's into the tunnel section now. You see him flying around in the tunnel. Blinding light as you come out. Able to not lock up that go around. Good move through the chicane here by JD. Doing a great job on this lap. Flies to the swimming pool section as well. I we'll see a good time by JD here. 109 0. flat for DZ. JDA with a 110-2, that's going to be P3 for right now. Looks like going to be wrong as the next driver across the line. Oh, he's a little bobble there, a little wheel slip, able to hang on to the car. Stands are packed today for the race here at Monaco. Hot ticket, TTM versus SSR in the quarterfinals. No flag in sector two for a TTM car. Rawlings in for the P4, 10 flat. Boss Cookie right behind him, 10 flat, 6. So those are some okay lap times. Maybe a little bit more in them. Payox is in foul and monkey on an out lap now. We're going to stick with him. Big bounce off the wall by Monkey. It is so easy to do around here too. Yep, that's going to be big damage to the front right. Looks like an end plate went tumbling down the straight there. We're going to be seeing a lot of that probably in the race.
think the Ox is going for another one here. He threw it up for more than one run. We see some more front wing bits. Yep, there's definitely some there in Sector 3. This Payax is going to do my last time here. Yep. Veins are open on the back as the DRS engages. He's looking to get him a little bit here. No 10 3 Heat for Wave Payax. in the chat. What's up, Heat Wave? Welcome to the stream, brother man. Monaco's all about quality position. Gotta be at the front. See yellow flag in sector three, or looks like a little TTM looks like just a little slow there. Yep. Well, maybe we saw a uh, crash there, but as we've got our two cars that are on track, Kings and a TTM car, make it way around. Aox has called it a lap. He's going to take it back to the pits. 11 minutes to go here. Hold time at the minute. False cookies on an outlap. He's the only SSR guy out right now. Watch him go through that swimming pool section. They are right on the limit there. That is fun part of the track for sure. Yeah, it's really tight through there. That's actually probably one of my favorite parts of the track. It's down in sector three once you get past the box chicane. So it's all fluid if you get motion. It right, yep. If you get it right, it's 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 rewarding. You can carry a lot of momentum through there. It's very tight though. The limits are either right or wrong. There is no in between. <laughs> In the wall, or you know, just found the limits. Yep. You either have a flyer, or you're flying off the track. That's for sure. All right, here goes Boss Cookie on a lap. Veins have opened up the drag rejection system. He's looking for a jammer here. It's way with a little bit of a cut there inside part of that corner. Looks like the banter's still going on. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't, Bone? Who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> I like pushing the limits. I run cockpit view with the POV pushed way up. Looks like you're looking straight out of the helmet. It's a challenge. I like it. We should do a. We should do a uh, a cockpit. Cup. Cockpit cup. Yeah. <laughs> it's my bread and butter. <laughs> I flirted with putting the halo bar back on. I have hit disabled right now. Cookie doesn't but... validate. Ooh, Annie smacks the wall pretty hard there, doing the old esports wall ride. <laughs> trying to hurry up and get back. He's got to be careful here. Too many bangs on them walls. He's gonna lose the tire. He won't get another go around. But the TTM guys, sector three. You see Rollins really throwing the car in there hard in Sector 3. Got tons of momentum here. Rawlings is a big fan of Monaco. He's quick here. The 1090. There you see it. Wow. 9 flat 2. 8-8 eight, eight right now is the time to beat from DZ. That is a lap time for those folks. Anywhere to the 109s. Below the 109s. Yeah, that is, is a quick lap. Great laps. Who else we got out right now? Looks like Division and Monkey are both on laps. Division's coming around now. He improves to P7 with a 9.8. Monkey lap. in the tunnel now. Car is stopped inside of the Nobel chicane. Yeah, it looks like some people trying to get out of the way there. A lot of traffic coming through there right now.
flies through the swimming pool into Rath's cast. Be a tiny lap, I think. Low one, low one ten. This boss is out for another one too. He's coming around. With the end of sector, sector one, sector two. Started a lap, I think. Yeah, it looks like he is in sector one. Either started a lap, or he just finished one, one, two. I think he just finished one. Looks like he's going for another one, though. No, he's not. He's uh, Yeah, I think he's pushed. No. He's about 1.6 down the first section of this time, so. Alright, monkey in sector three now. One ten point four, looking to improve. A few tenths here will get him past Payox. Also have Cookie at the end of sector one. Monkey's gonna dip in the pits. Payox is working his oh. way back around to the pits as well. Cookie tapped the wall there and lost ten plate. Here goes JD on a lap. Yeah, he's looking nice and smooth. Key is to get through this roundabout nice and quick. She does a great job of carry the momentum down the hill and into the tunnel. On the power nice and early there. Thank you, Zappa, for the host. The man, the myth, the legend. Zampa. Big brain behind the organization. Big shout out to all nine viewers here sticking around for the second race. Much love from the SSR crew and uh, myself and Radar in the comms booth. 1097 for JDM there. It's in, uh, it goes up to P7. Rawlings is on an outlap as well. He's in the tunnel section. Like Division is as well. Division's about to go on his lap. Four minutes to go here. Four minutes to go in the quality session. Hello, Harris. Hello, Harris. Welcome to the stream. Rainmaker is our bot, Jamie. Get with the times, it's the 21st century. Roland has already valued his lap time in sector one. Division's coming through the Neville chicane now on his lap. 109.8 is his current time. He's looking to move up here. JD's just slightly ahead of him. All right, the problem here at Monaco is if you can't qualify up in front, it gives the, the back guys here of the lead pack a chance to block. It's really hard to get by here in Monaco, and, and I think we're going to see some of that. It's a very moves up to P5. Yeah, I, I have an agreement here. I think... <clears throat> I think if we're going to see moves, they're going to be pushy and get out of the way and thank you for the position type of moves, not much. No level loss between, between them. Yeah, as we said, there's already a little bit of heated conversation there. Unfortunately, I think probably some of those tensions might carry over to this race. It's definitely one that it could happen on, that's for sure. As Payax goes a little faster in the first sector as well.
Boss Cookie's gonna dip right, let Payox buy here. Boss on an out lap, Payox on a hot lap. Wheel there from Aox. Mm, little wall tap as well. Down by two tenths of a second on his fast slap. He needs to make it up in the last sector here if he's going to have a chance to improve. I think he's going to have to get him another one here. He's going to bobble a little bit. He's going to finish the lap, three. so. I'm surprised that he finished the lap. He's also on a hot lap as well, right behind. He goes into the 109 as well, with the 1099. P10. Big laps here. Like boss cookie might be saving up for another run maybe. Yeah, he's right in behind Payox. Rollins is out on a lap. Another big lockup by Payox as he comes through the Neville. Oh, kisses the wall again. He's struggling to get that nose around in Sector 2. Yes, looks like Boss Cookie is going to save up for a final run here. And we are on board for it. He has clean space ahead. No one ahead of him. He's currently sitting 110.06. He's got a lot of time to make up to jump well up. Most of the guys here in the 109s. DZ up there at a 1088 blistering lap here at Monaco. Does not look like Rollins is going to be able to top that at all. He moves down to P2 as the same move, it's just a 1089. Ooh, big lockup by Boss Cookie there in the middle. It's to stop though. Ooh, oh no, big smack on the wall. Wall riding. And he's out, that's terminal. Right the wheel the is there. off, the wheel is off. That is a tough break on board for that some, big some crash. Laps there. JDM's coming around the final few corners now to complete the lap. He's sitting 197 trying to improve. One nine five. five. He does improve, but not position. Just time. Monkey drifts around the last corner as well. Just he will not improve either. As TW goes to one hundred eight as well. Speaking with the engineer for SSR, it looks like that big wreck by Payox there coming out of Kemmel was a pad disconnection. Lost his controller there, shut off on him, caused the big wreck. It's a tough break by Payox. He had a good lap going there. He was getting caught up. Hate to see it. It's going to be it now. DZ, the last one on the lap. He's just dipped into the pits. That's going to be it for Quali, guys. That's how we sit right now. We're about to go racing in Monaco, 25% full damage safety car on, no formation lap, pure chaos here at Monaco. DZ gets the 1882, DW with a 1885, and then Sam with a 18.9, Sam late edition, shifting into the roster here for the second race, Rawlings in there for P4, Division P6. JDP 8, Monkey, Boss Cookie, and Payox 10, 11 is 12. We saw the big crash by Boss there late in the session.
as we're going to see probably Rawlings trying to make early moves up into turn one, probably off the start, and get some good teamwork behind Yeah, he's going to need a good launch. Yep. Yep. We're going to need all the heroics and the Sandoval today. Yeah, <laughs> here we are. <coughs> Dub Z in the chat. What's up, Dub Z? Welcome to the stream, my man. This should be a, a pretty simple one. Stops off to mediums again. Twenty-five percent race. Yeah, boss cookie had a big crash here, pushing the car a little too hard. Turned in early into sector three. There, clipped the left front, bounced off the right wall. He's trying to rush and bring it back, and he smashed into the wall. Took the tire off. This is a friendly reminder, there's no smoking in the pit lane. Indicator signs are well lit across the whole pit lane. <laughs> Let's keep smoking to a minimum. Remember, we are social distancing. Wear your mask, play nice, don't call off on anybody. What if, those, uh, if the crowd is wearing masks today? Is it a bad omen that the SSR nose cones are all pre-laid out and they're the only ones that are pre-laid out? <laughs> <laughs> Based on qualifications, you guys are going to need these. <laughs> Fire the lights. The lights go to Monaco. 20 laps of Monaco here. And we're racing. Looks like Ron's got a decent start there. He's just going to get shoved on the outside though. We'll make a move around the outside and we'll go to P3 and Division up to P5 and start. Great move by Division. Ooh, a little bit of tangle in there. Yep. It's division's making a move to P4 as well. Yep, Division up in P4 now. Right now. Ghosted cars. Look at them all boxed up through the Ow. roundabout here. Yep. Good job of everybody keeping it fairly clean through there. Damage. It's like one of the TTM guys is ghosted it's, inside his teammate. It's Looks like, like he's finally made room. It's connected, maybe? Nah, I think he was just ghosted there when they came through the hairpin and he was just maintained ghost since he was inside his teammate there. Looks like he's solid now and in line. Looks like somebody's in plate bouncing around up there. Rawlings with a purple sector, too. Rawlings is flying so far. He's. Has That's going to be the end plate of DW in he the pits. He pulls in the pits early. Two yeah, and three now. Like, that was his end plate. That was his end plate. We saw tumbling down sector three. As Rollins is free to push up to at least the front. Anything can happen at Monaco. Anything can happen. It's never over at Monaco. Shidium looks like he also needs to get a front wing change as well. He's in the pits. As we see Paydox and Cookie on the medium tires, dude. Mixing it up, start, used all the, the sauce race. up. Yep. JD in the pits, looks like he had some damage as well. He's back out. Like Monkey trying to close up to, to Josh, the back straight there. Backing up to that. Oh, and then Monkey's around. Monkey is around. Just about to say that the SSR boards have kept it fairly clean so far. It does look like Rawlings and Division have, have created a gap to the cars behind them. Doesn't look like there's any contact there. It looks like Monkey just overcooked the rear wheels from what I could see, but I caught the tail end of it, so it's hard to tell what actually happened there. I think we might be able to see JDM probably get back to order maybe a little bit towards the back end if he can keep it clean. The car's going to be. Let's take a look at the tire layout. JD on the mediums after having to pit early. Oh, 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 oh. Big, big spin by Cookie. <clears throat> it's front wing damage on the front left side there. Yeah. He's, he's definitely going to. Yeah, he's definitely going to struggle there. Looks like the rear end went on him. 
Okay, he's gonna have to go into the there. I don't think can make it. 17 laps. As long as put a 1.6 second gap back to the division. Yeah, Rawlings, like I said. Boss Cookie catches a 10 second for corner cut and unable to make the chicane in time with that wing damage. Aox. Tough around here with the broken end plate. Aox is all over the back Aox of Josh. all over Josh. I just he moved down and turned one maybe? DRS? Not sure. A little far like back. Josh had a little more space, yeah. See Cookie going in fits to get a change of uh, winning tires, I think. Maybe just tires. Looks like he didn't change his wing. Yep, he changed his wing. Never mind. Aox still all in the gearbox of Josh 29 here. I see him move down to the, the hairpin. Just has to keep it close to the sector. And keep it close, he can make yeah, a move. If he can keep it close here, he might be able to make an underneath move here yeah, at the chicane. Let's far Radar back. might be right. Yeah. See Josh lock up there and cut the corner a little bit. Josh is on the soft tire, so he's gonna have to pit. Kings is on the medium so he's compound, in the able to. Easy. Easy. Oh, yep. There he is in the pits, changing those tires. Only three laps in. Must have had some wing damage. Rawlings out front oh, now. Just tires. Division ends. Interesting strategy there. Only four laps in. He starts going the mediums. Yeah, it's a pace advantage, probably. Payox is up in P4. Payox fell back a little bit there. He has no damage, from what I can tell, so. Looks like he got the wheels cooked up a little bit. He's backed off, letting those tires cool down. I guess it, it's easy right behind him, though, catching him. We have a 1 2 right now for SSR. Good turnout, right? P4 for Payox as well. See a little defense maybe from Payox here. I, th I think you have to almost do that. I can get a tap try and block as much as you can. Let it roll and get a chance at him. I agree. Looks like DZ is the faster of the TTM voice here at Monaco. He's got to do his part for the team. Make that speckled livery SSR car as wide as he can. He's going to park the not bus. Let him buy. I mean, probably losing on a few. He's not. He tents every corner. There's not a lot of room here to get by, so he's got the advantage. He just here. needs to get a good jump on that the front straight, too. Yep. Looks like he's going to get it. I think we go down the inside there. He's going to stay around him for probably at least till the chicane. That's just a bold move coming. He looks to the outside. For it. There's no room there. It's a very dangerous spot to try to overtake. Like he's gonna go for it again, maybe. All you have to do is really defend to the inside here, and you have the right to the corner. The outside is not where you want to be. As he is backing everybody up to each other. As yep. EW's catching like up. He's got to see a red behind him. Maybe move into the bus or into the no chicane. Was a little deep though. Three second high penalty. Catches a penalty, but he's doing his part here. Let's take a quick look back up to the front. Division and Rawlings way out there now. Josh, 12 seconds to division. Division and Rawlings are doing a great job up front for us. I'm sorry. Josh in the pits. Oh, and then it looks like DZ just turns them around there, gets into the back, and just spins the rear end of Payox. Caught that one right as he came around into the pin ultimate. Gives him a big nudge and just spins him out. Right does the bump bump pass. Bump and run. Yep, that was a dirty one there, boys. Pass. All right, Rawlings out front. Division right behind him. These guys got to stretch it out here. Hey, Rawlings the other guys have all right. Now. Rawlings has got to come into the pits, I think, now. Try and yeah, he's got to do it now. He's got the gap. 
about 18 seconds, a little 17, 18, anyway, it's about 20 seconds right now. He's got a pit stop. If he can get in and out quick, he could probably maintain that lead. And just all about defending there, I think he has to come in the slap. I think that's, that's a mistake. He's coming in. There you go, you see him peeling we, we in the pits. We might see Division coming as well. As he... D Division in the pits as well, yep. doing a nice little drift around the penultimate there. Those tires are cooked. Looks like All right, let's Division see if might get be out. Rollins okay, is yeah. rolling again. Yeah, I might, might, might do some more blocking here. Yes, he's doing a nice job of it. Trying All right, looks like both of the SSR boys are going to peel out of the pits ahead of that backpack. Oh, uh, nope. His division just gets beat out there. But Rollins is it's the race leader at the time. Shifty in the pits. Payox in the pits as well. All oh, the SSR boys will be able to catch up there. Payox. Rawlings has got heat already. Vivian moves up to P8, Monkey to P9, Deox P10, Shifty P11, Boss Cookie, 23 seconds back on the hard tires. Just have to stake it out here. Monaco can claim some victims around the, around the track. If you're the race engineer here, do you say to the Rawlings to try and fill the gap? Would you say try and back him up so the vision can maybe make a path somewhere? Oh, as fast as DZ is. Push, push, push. Put that head down and let's go. This looks like there's traffic up ahead. Rawlings to deal with. Two TTM cars. Rawlings is clear We're all the Rawlings. way through sector two. Vision, sorry. Visions on, on the back of two TTM cars. Stay back to division here. He's starting to get pretty close. EW has been on those t t t tires for seven laps now, and he has a penalty, so. I think. I think division probably going to see a little. Advantage, you know? You're going to see a little return here, though. I think DW is going to try to back up and hold him up. Boss Cookie is out in F and pit lane. So he might be trying to back them up, but I think they're going to get him on the main straight here if he backs them up enough. Camera crew doing a great job today with these aerial shots. Big shout out to the guys down on the track. So it looks like he lost a bit of time there to Rawlings. 1.1 back now. Yellow flag uh, for JDM and, and Monkey, I think. Yeah, it looks like JD might be lost it there in the no. No damage for Division. him though. Still, stu still stuck behind DW here. He's doing his best to try to find an opening. There's just not a lot of places for an opening. But the other place you, you, make you can see move work is turn one. And the can maybe Rask has to get brave. Yeah, you see DW's falling off the car ahead of him. He's yeah. really starting to back him up here. As Tez has left the session. Tez has left. <coughs> Maybe we could see right. here. Business as usual. Yellow flag for Rawlings. They spun Rawlings around is what it looks like. Rawlings just spun around. I don't know if, if that was three seconds in the back of him or... Well, they were definitely close. Missed it. Yeah, we were watching that battle with Division. I'm sure Rollins is going to get a clip of that if it was intentional or not. Or then that would be his second incident of the race. So that was Sadise making contact. You see. Vision is all over the back of DW here. Definitely got the advantage here. He's gonna go he for retires. it. He's gonna go for it. Sends it down the inside. He's gotta give him the room. He's gotta give him the room. He's he's far enough along. Oh, and they're just beating each other to death here. No room left oh, there. Oh, there goes Division's wing. I, he still has it on my screen. 
Nope. A nice little crunch in the wall, and then he gets shoved into the corner. DW just rams him into the wall. Great clean very, racing very here messy by TTM here. there. Very messy racing here. As Rawlings gets back a lot of Oh, looks like Division spun it around, missing an end plate after being shunted into the wall by DW. A lot more I assume they're gonna be very busy tonight. Very, very messy here. A lot of shoving. Just watched on the back on, on your POV of the stream of division has retired. Oh, he just gets punted. Yep. Yeah. DW's in the pits. Division did retire. He would. He put the put the car right into the side of division. I'm sure he's got some heavy <laughs> wing damage there as he shoved division right into the wall. Coming around a right hand turn and ends up left end of division. It just doesn't add up there. Rawlings in P3 right now. Two and a half second gap to Sam behind him. He's going on the gap, I think. It's it's now just about chasing down top two if he can, but oh if Sam has spun in the uh the Novelsha game. To be fair, we're, we're on for decent points here. If I don't need to go our way, we, we could have a chance here to make up a few. JDM and Monkey are very close to each other here. Trying to we catch up to Josh up ahead, who is six seconds up the road. Wrong just closing the gap a little bit on each lap, about a tenth or two lap. Now we're not going to have enough time at that pace, though, as we have a safety car. Aox is out. Aox has lost it. Let me see where that is. Do we can get a view of it? As a starboard, should try and stay out here and try and get. And get it, the, uh, See if the car's the still there. Is oh, it looks like it's cleared. Looks like he lost it in the wall here. Maybe the SR boys try and get track position here and just hold everybody up behind us. Did he say he goes into the pits? He's in the pits. Rawlings is probably gonna jump him here. Rawlings does stay out. So we have three drivers against their their six. Rawlings does pass Sam, and you say in the pits. Yeah, but that is that is true. Uh, Stewart's decided that there was there was intentional. They weren't disqualification for something, but. We haven't seen that happen Rawlings yet. is going to be sandwiched here between four or five TTM cars. I it's not going to be a pretty picture. Don't like that. It looks no. like it's like six of them. Sorry, six, five cars. Yeah. Yep. It's not necessarily great for Rawlings here as he's a shifty friend, Sam's. You see. It looks like Josh. one of these cars ahead of him is a yeah, is that a is, lap that down. Yeah, that is shifty. That is shifty as he looks like he's getting out of the way, maybe. You see SSR boys, some of them on soft tires here. Monkey goes on to the softs. 14 laps, 14 laps completed. Just like shifty dipped out of the way into the pit, so that's going to put him out of the way. So we got Brenda, Rawling, Sam, DZ, Josh, and then we got our JDM haters, DW, and then Monkey and Shifty. We got three boys out of the race here. 
tempers are high, a little frustration after the unnecessary shoving we saw there in the previous laps. And I do believe Ron is going to shove down the wind in the chicane, but... It looks like it's going to be a... Ron is up there with a chance at the wind still. Gonna need a good restart. Looks like everyone has rejoined here, so we should see the safety car go in on this lap. See if there's like to hear from race control. We got five laps to go here. Hey, access left the session. He has called it quits for the day. Had enough. Had enough. Had we all. As the flight to our top safety car and race control says safety car is coming in this lap. Yep, race control has confirmed. Car's coming in. We're gonna go back racing. Six. Five DTM guys. Oh, and Sam. Sam. Sam hits Rawlings in the yeah. back, giving him a five second penalty. Yeah. That's going to be it for Rawlings' race. The stewards are going to have to take that one off. Come on, Rawlings, you got to push now. To get a good jump away as Rawlings is it's two seconds ahead. Got to make a move, though, somewhere. Yeah, we've seen a lot of similarities between previous races in this championship that TTM's been in. A lot of the same actions. Rawlings had a chance at the win there and gets smacked by Sam from behind. Then in turn one, Sam pulls off to let his teammates by. Taking the win from Rawlings. No way Rawlings is going to stretch a five second gap here in the closing laps. You would need to have, have someone crash and yeah. have two seconds to sit these two behind would do it, but it would have to be something. Just figure that tactic's a little interesting. Sam smacks him in the back coming out of sector three, and then as soon as they come around into turn one, he pulls off to the side, lets both teammates by. He did his part for his team, so. Yep, looks like that might have been team orders. Yep. It's a mute point at this fact. We got only three drivers left in the race. Just unnecessary. Unnecessary. Just off the driving conduct you, you would like around especially an esports event. Absolutely. We see I gotta say the SSR boys have done great in this championship. We rolled into it with no expectations. We've made it to the quarterfinals. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of incidents from this race under review. We'll see how it pans out. Uh, it has been quite a quite an adventure in this one. We're looking forward to getting some more, more esports events going. Yeah, from, from talking to Zampa, the boss man, he said we have been extended an invite for session two of this when they redo the next championship. So they liked what they saw. We have Garrison Able as Monkey is seven tenths back on on Sam there. Two laps to go. Two laps to go. Rawlings is just three, four tenths now behind. Brindy uh, at the front. And looking at the ER ERS, it looks like Rawlings has a lot more ERS to play with. Are we going to see any ERS stuff here on this lap here? I don't know, we might maybe wait for the last lap, make sure he can, he's got enough to push. He almost has to go for as soon as possible just to try and get track position here. 
Garrus isn't able to, he's going to have a chance at it. As Monkey and JDM are both in, in prime positions to overtake Sam for his penalties that he has. A little bit of wheel slip by Brenda is going to give him the advantage. Advantage it does give him. Garrus up now down the front straight. Going to make a move around the outside. Will not. And the defense will yep. parks the car right in the middle. Here he goes up along now. The hill. He's got to give room. He's got to give room. On the outside he goes. This is going to be a great move if he can pull it off. Side by side, the entire first sector. He's got to get to the inside here. He does. And he gets it done. And the move. Clean. Still side by side. Still alongside. Oh, he gets oh, shoved he pushes out. him into the wall. Shunted into the wall there. Looks like racing incident there. Yeah, that was the racing incident there, but I hate to see it. But that's going to ghost him and make him lose a position. And he has front left end plate damage. That's going to be it. As Sam is back and is back with Monkey and JDM up so that way they cannot overtake DW, who also has penalties. Hello, well Josh. So, Sam once again doing doing his team orders to work for the day. Dip back here to Monkey. See if he can get by here on the street. They have any? If they want to get up to P5. They would have to get it done here. If Shifty gets a three-second time penalty. We are on the last lap of this race here. Yep, this is the last one at Monaco. JD on 18 lap old mediums. Yeah, he's done a great job uh, to make this race last. Yeah, he's stretching them a long way. Sam on also on 18 lap old mediums here. It's been a good run by the SSR boys so far on this tournament. We're going to see. I was going to see what happens here. Looks like City State is blocking Rawlings now, too. Yep. As Rawlings, as City State tries to block and runs City State to the wall there. Looks like he's out of fuel. Rawlings is the five second. Monkey's gonna try to make a move down Monkey's the back straight. Monkey's gonna jump. Monkey's gonna jump him on penalties. JD's gonna jump him as well. We got SSR P3, 6, and 7. What a messy, messy race, boys. Messy yes, it was. Uh, I'm sure we're gonna see a lot center of the reports. Center in the chat saying they already got a warning for some of their antics in the race against GRA. Should be interesting to see how this pans out. There was some definite, definite contact there, especially that nudge there at the end from the rear by Sam. Caught that on the stream. I, I, do, I do remember them Messy. getting a warning during the GRA race about, about blocking and, and uh, causing incidents. So it looks be an interesting point that, that they make is... Well, we'll take the high road on this one. We'll let the stewards sort it out. We'll get the incident reports in and let the professionals do the professional work. Big shout out to everybody that tuned in today. Bone Apple with some props as well done on the comms, guys. Very enjoyable. I'm glad you guys liked it. Uh, thanks for the follows. I think we had one earlier. Um, for you guys that just tuned in, we appreciate it. Um, big ups to the esports guys here at SSR. They're doing a great job. Uh, Boss Cookie coming in short notice. We had a, a, a dropout right before the race. So I know Boss Cookie had a tough go at both tracks, but big ups to him for stepping in. With, with minutes heads up to, to fill the spot so we weren't one driver short. So big ups to Boss Cookie. Um, everybody did a great job. Big shout to Rawlings with the P3 at Monaco. Um, it's a tough break today. Tough break for the SSR boys. Um, today is Friday, so that means tomorrow we're in Abu Dhabi for our races. Tier 1 and Tier 2 are tomorrow. Tier 3 on Sunday. Don't miss it. It's going to be the last weekend race for yours truly here, AJ Mars. So it's going to be an emotional one, but uh, tune in. It's going to be fun. 
it's right here on the SSR channel. Uh, radar is going to be in what tier three? Tier three, so yeah. So you're gonna be able to make the race this weekend, Radar. Yeah, and I, I will probably be making the race. Hopefully, hope this isn't my last one. It might, it might very well be scheduled as as Christmas break has come up for me, but hopefully, schedule works out so I can continue to race All the last right. three or four. Well, let's hope he makes it. Big shout out to Radar for being in the comms booth with me today. Thanks. Big guest host. Yeah. I appreciate it so very much. I enjoyed it. Look forward to doing it again. Everyone that tuned in, one more go through the standings here. Take a look, see where everybody's at going into Abu Dhabi. Harrison, the chat said, unlucky. Indeed it is, my man. Indeed it is. Thank you, AJ, for the invite to come alongside you and come with you today. It was, it was, it was a joy.